Yeah, it's been about a year since the last altcoins video, and that's because I wanted to try out a bunch of new challenges. But alas, here we are with Mario Bros. 3 All Coins. The rules are simple, I just have to get all the coins in a level to pass. The only coins that aren't gonna matter is when I hit the P switch and blocks turn into coins, unless that block is specifically a coin block. Also, I can use any power-ups I need to, and if I have to pass a level that's impossible, I might be able to do so with a warp whistle or with any power-up. But with that said, let's hippity-hop our way back into this challenge. 1-1 one, one was a great start, and there was actually a lot to do. To start, the Tanuki Tail was an essential, since I needed to fly into the sky and get a bunch of coins. I also needed to go down the pipe to get the coins down here. For 1-2, I made sure to grab the coins in the air before getting the P-Switch. After doing that, I hit the P-Switch to get the one coin from the block, then damage boosted through the plant so I could get the coins underground. There is nothing too out of the ordinary for 1-3, and 1-4 was really easy. The only thing I needed to remember was the coin blocks. Something I haven't mentioned yet is the coin blocks are in a set timer and don't have a specific amount of coins inside. So for this video, I'll mash out as many coins as possible and that will count as getting all the coins. Moving to the mini fortress, it actually doesn't have any coins to collect, which is super sad. But I did make sure to get another warp whistle since we may need it in the future. 1-5 doesn't have a lot of coins, but I was a bit concerned about the sky level. I missed a bunch at the top on my first run, so I went back to the main level and got coins I missed, and then back to the sky. That's when I noticed something strange. The coins that I missed were now entirely missing, so I guess the coins don't save. Well, that's good to know, I suppose. I decided to just redo the level and get the coins all in one go. It took a few tries, but I found that by getting the bottom coins first, then swooping up for the top coins, it was much more manageable. It wasn't nearly as hard as I was expecting. I just needed to optimize my movement really well. On to 1-6. This one was pretty annoying because of all the coins in the air. Before even getting to that though, the coin blocks were really sketchy because I had to perfectly slide underneath them and mass jump so I don't fall off by accident. Then the coins in the air required some really precise flying because when you start to fall, you gotta land somewhere and there isn't much ground to land on. I bet a lot of people didn't even know these coins exist because the screen usually obtrudes them completely. So basically, I had to keep flying at the end of the level, grab a few coins, and then turn around and do it over. After several flights, I got all the coins, but it was definitely a pain in the tuchus. One airship has zero coins, so after taking out the Koopa, we are set to take on World 2. There weren't too many coins to get into one. I just needed to get the coins underground, as well as the ones inside these purple pies. Something weird about 2-2 is we actually don't want to hit the P-switch that's next to this coin block, or the coins we need to get would turn into blocks and it'd be much harder to collect them without this lift moving us forward. But otherwise, this level wasn't too bad. And Too Many Fortress doesn't have any coins, so I think we can confirm most, if not all, castle levels are gonna be freebies for us. While going through 2-3, I should mention that I've been using maps online to ensure that I'm collecting every coin, and I knew we were about to head into some trouble. At the end of the stage, we've got these two Koopas and coins are basically on all the steps. We can get almost all the coins here, and the one on the very bottom with another Koopa, but that's not gonna matter because I have no way of getting all the coins on the wall all the way to the right. Why are there even coins here? Why you do this to me, Miyamoto? And unfortunately, we can't really take an alternate route on the map. The pipe just takes us backwards, and I don't have a hammer to break this boulder so we're gonna have to bust out the warp whistle. We'll just go ahead and go to world five. I would like to play as many levels as possible before resorting to world seven. Starting off with 5-1, I had to make a game plan. Firstly, I went ahead and got all the coins on the top layer of the stage. After that, I flew into this pipe and got an invisible coin right here. Then came the hard part, the P-Switch coins. They're shaped to look like threes, and there was an absurd amount of coins to get. And let me tell you, I must have attempted this at least 50 times. I tried fast falling, then running for speed. I tried getting all the coins in one three before going to the other three, and I wasn't even getting close. I even tried out the p wing and while that did make me slightly faster, no real progress was being made. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to use our last warp whistle to World 7, and pray that the coins aren't too obtrusive here. 7-1 was a good start, since there aren't too many coins to get. I actually never knew there was a group of coins around these pipes until now. There's only a segment of coins to get in 7-2, so this one was also pretty simple. The only thing worth mentioning for 7-3 are some P-Switch coins to nab, but it was a snap. There weren't too many coins in 7-4, and the same for 7-5. The first Piranha Plant stage doesn't have any coins, but instead a free P-Wing, which I'm sure we can use later. 
and the mini fortress has hardly any coins either. 7-6 has a ton of question mark blocks, but it's pretty easy. I gotta say, our luck has been pretty darn good. We might actually have a shot at World 8. For 7-7, you just run across the bunchers with stars and yet again, there's no coins. I guess this world has a bad economy or something. I don't know. 7-8 has a coin block in this random spot, plus a sky level, but it's much easier than the ones we've tackled. 7-9 is one massive maze, and while you can get all the coins here, you need to be really careful with your time. I had to do this one over a few times because I was going too slow, or I got hit too many times. You basically have to be Big Mario or better, otherwise half the coins aren't reachable. The second mini fortress has no coins yet again, and the same goes for the second Piranha Plant level. All that's left is the airship, and guess what? No, seriously, I want you to take your biggest, wildest guess on what happens next. No coins. So despite the odds, we've actually made our way to World 8 with a chance of beating the game while touching every single coin. Hooray! 8 Tank 1 features a total of, uh, oh, what's that? No coins, and neither does 8 Battleship. Wait, what? We didn't run into a single hand trap? That is insanely lucky. I celebrated by using the P-Wing and 8 Airship because there's no coins here either, and I hate this level anyway. Now for 8-1, there's a P-Switch hidden in the sky. You have got to be kidding. We are mere levels away from the final castle. And there's coins I can't even reach on the left? Why are there so many blue coins? God damn it. Once again, it is not possible to beat Super Mario Bros. 3 while touching every coin. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why not just use a cloud? Well, here's the issue with that. I was never given one. So that's just really, really bad luck on my end. Theoretically, you probably still could beat this game if I had a few cloud items, but I just got straight up zucked. So let's just go back to World 2 and try all the levels we missed. Two Quicksand, of course, is the infamous level with the Angry Sun, and it has no coins to collect. 2-4 has lots of coins to grab, but it wasn't really challenging. And the same for 2-5, two 2-Pyramid, two and 2-Airship due to a lack of coins. Who would have thought? I'm kind of shocked how easy World 2 was outside of 2-3 being a butthole. I kind of hope World 3 is a bit more challenging. And would you look at that? My hopes were crushed and broken because 3-1 was easy. And so was 3-2. I also discovered this new area with coins. Like, seriously, did you know there was a lift and a hidden one up right at the end? I certainly didn't. 3-3 was definitely a lot harder because I had boss bass on my tail and the coins were in the water with him. I died quite a few times from just getting eaten by him. So I eventually figured out by being patient and slowly getting coins, I could beat the level. There were a couple times where I died right at the end, which was extremely aggravating. And believe it or not, three mini fortress actually has coins in the door all the way at the end of the hallway. This is another place I've never gone to before, but that was about it for coins. There was a good amount of blue coins in 3-4, but that's all that's worth Worth mentioning. Now 3-5 is extremely frustrating because you'd think everything would be fine. There's some coins in the water and that's all you think there is. But alas, the map has showed me something horrifying. There are two coin blocks on the top. Here's one of my many problems. The only way to reach these blocks is with a P-Wing. That's because there's almost nowhere to run on land to build speed. But in the water, there's a pipe that's blowing water and we have to go through it with Frog Mario because there's coins down there. Do you see what's wrong? We can only have one of these power-ups at a time and therefore can't get all the coins. Moving on to 3-6, it was a bit annoying because a lot of the blocks had coins in them. I had to constantly move up and down the area, and it was really easy to slip up and fall. After some tries, I got all the coins. 3-7 has some coins in the air, the second mini fortress has zilch coins, but 3-8 doesn't. Now this level was one of the most obnoxious ones I've played in a long, long time. I don't know what Nintendo did to Boss Bass and his AI, but holy shit was he pissing me off. The coins were mostly in the water or inside blocks, which means I couldn't snipe Boss Bass's Fire Mario and had to keep Tanuki Mario the whole time. And time and time and time again, this freaking fish gulps me in one bite. I'm not a snack, Boss Bass. I just want some coins, okay? I eventually beat this level, but I felt so beaten defeated afterwards. 3-9 was thankfully a little easier. The coins were annoying to grab, but that was about it. And 3-airship had no coins, and that wraps up World 3.
Moving into World 4, I had another discovery looking into the map. Flying over this waterfall, you have this whole other level that I never knew about. And I thought that was pretty cool, until I discovered this pesky, pesky block on the floor. I can't swing my tail in the water, so there's no way for me to hit it for a coin. I decided to get creative and take one of the big Koopas up top and maybe use that. But of course, the shell magically disappears as I enter the new area. So 4-1 can't be done, which is really freaking stupid. On the other hand, 4-2 has six coins to grab, and 4-3 has some coins hidden high in the area, but it wasn't that bad. 4 Mini Fortress was easy peasy, and so was 4-4, but 4-5 was a different story. There was a pipe hidden in the sky, and it contained a P-switch. This P-switch has coins, and you have to go through the pipe to reach them. And the timer is extremely tight. If you slow down even a little bit, then you're not getting them all. After trying this about 10 times, I started to get a pattern down and figured out what to do. I was getting closer and closer and finally, this happened. Phew! I had some really good luck with the bullet bill bounces. Holy crap! 4-6 was much more manageable, and so was the second mini fortress, simply because I had the map to show me where the hidden coins were. And 4 airship only had a few coins to grab, wrapping up World 4. I gotta say, a few of these levels weren't playing around, and I wonder how World 5 will fare. Right away, I knew 5-2 wasn't going to be possible. That's because there's two different paths you can take. Falling down into the water has coins, but also climbing up through this pipe has coins. And we can't be in two places at once, so we can't get them all. 5-3 as well as 5 mini fortress was as easy as can be. 5 towers seemed doable, but there was one coin block that I wasn't able to hit. According to the map, there's a coin block right next to this pipe, and I wasn't able to hit it no matter how many times I tried. 5-4 just required us to fly really high, and 5-5 was a pain in the ass. The coins weren't really put in tricky spots, it was just a barrage of enemies that I kept getting hit from. I needed to be at least Big Mario because the last coin required me to break some blocks, so this one took a few tries. Now 5-6 has some awkwardly placed coins with no ground underneath them, so I just used the P-Wing for this level. But the rest of World 5 was a including 5-7, the second mini fortress, 5-8, 5-9, and 5 airship, so on to world 6. 6-1, 6-2, 6-3, and the first mini fortress were extremely simple without anything to mention. 6-4 is a coin block randomly in the air that I had to remember. And 6-5 just sucks. It's one of the dumbest levels, but you can't get all the coins. 6-6 six, six was fairly simple, and so is 6-7, but I had to be extra careful to keep Fire Mario the whole time so I could melt these ice coins at the end. The second mini fortress and 6-8 have no coins, but 6-9 has some in this secret pipe that requires a frog suit to get to. And then you enter the level in real Realize that you're screwed. The question mark blocks doesn't have a tanuki suit or anything, and there's no way you could get all the coins in this room. Then you've got 610. This is another level I'm just not a fan of. Honestly, half of World 6 is just garbage, but getting all the coins here makes it worse. I mean, look at all these ice blocks I have to thaw. This takes forever, and I can't go fast because if I lose Fire Mario, then I have to retry the entire level. The third fortress wasn't too bad. By the way, did you know there's coins up here? Mario Bros. 3 really does have a lot of secrets. I've learned about a lot of them from this challenge. And finally, Six Airship has one coin to grab, and we can now finish up World 8. We're in the home stretch. Now, I hate to do this, but the rest of World 8 is really anticlimactic. 8 2 is easy, the mini fortress is confusing but doable, and the second tank in Bowser's Castle is a breeze. And that is Super Mario Bros. 3. So out of 90 stages, only eight weren't possible. That has to be the best we've ever done on an all coins challenge. Only 11% of stages couldn't be completed. I think we did so well because the P-Wing is just so versatile and a surprising amount of stages just didn't have coins at all. But that'll be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time.